Hi, I'm Roboter again. In this episode, we will try to explain the very basics of harmony, and its relation with voltage in the modular world. In music notation, we can put notes over the line or in the space between the lines. There are signs to point if the note is sharp or flat. We will focus on natural notes and forget sharps and flats for a moment. So, the distance between notes in the major scale is uneven, but the space between the lines is even. So we'll adjust the lines a little to make them compatible with the scope. With Alekin's specific value, we can send a constant voltage and see which note it's sending. Usually, oscillators work with the standard 1 voltage per octave. When there's no input, it's at 0 volts, which outputs C4, at a frequency of 261,626 Hz. That means that if you increase a volt, you double the frequency, and the note is 1 octave above. If you decrease 1 volt, the frequency goes to half, and the note is 1 octave below. The halftones between the octaves are distributed over the volt, so every halftone is at multiples of 0,083 volts. Let's merge two different notes. An interval is the difference in pitch between two sounds. With quantum we will fix the voltage to the closest value in the natural scale. Like white keys on the piano. In C major, C is the root of the scale. In this context, D is the second interval. Then E is the third. Because on the major scale, the third is two whole notes above the root, it's a major third. This interval determines on every chord, if it's major or minor. The minor third is one half tone below. Then goes F, the fourth. G, the fifth. A, the sixth. And B, the seventh. Let's build the first chord. Starting from C, we go a third up to E. If we go another third up starting to E, we get G that's C, E, G, C major. The major scale has seven notes. Every chord starting from one of these notes is a degree on the scale. So C major is the tonic of the C major scale. In a musical composition, we feel the root in the center. Other degrees add tension, and it's released when the tonic goes back. At least most of the music is like this. The logic for building this chord applies to the rest, so we can get all the chords passing these signals through an offset. All three notes must go up. In between, other triads are formed, which gives an interesting effect. Now we reach the second degree, D, F, A, which is D minor. Its minor, cause F, is three halftones away from D, and not four halftones. A is the fifth of D, and almost all the degrees have a fifth, but B, the seventh. If we keep going up, we reach E, G, and B, or E minor. The next is F, A, and C, F major. This chord is important in the scale, as is the subdominant. A lot of songs turn around the tonic and the subdominant. Then comes G, B, and D, G major. This is maybe the degree with the most tension, and creates the need for a release, coming back to the tonic. One step up is A, C, and E or a minor. This chord shares two notes with the root, so it's called minor relative, and they're pretty interchangeable. And finally B, D, and F. This is the ugly duckling. As we said before, it has no fifth, but a diminished fifth. So this triad is part of a half-diminished chord. A basic chord has its root, then the third, and going one-third up, the fifth. If we go a third up again, we reach the seventh. Sevenths can be major or minor. B is only one half-tone below C, so C major has a major seventh. D minor has a minor seventh. E minor has a minor seventh too.
F major has a major seventh. G major has a minor seventh. A minor has a minor seventh. B with the minor seventh is the full half diminished chord we talked about before. The notes of chords don't have to be necessarily close. They can be in another order, and repeated in other octaves. Let's offset the signals. Adding integers we shift octaves. If we start with the third or the fifth, and it becomes the lower note, it's an inversion of the chord. Polyphonic signal can be rotated to make an arpeggio. We must adjust the LFO to scan from the 1st to the 5th channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. If you want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.